Hey YouTubers, it's James and Lucci, Unrefined Media. Today we're going to talk about the uh, Nikon P900 and the accessories that come with it. So we bought a stabilizer right here for it. And uh, the problem that we found with this is when we put it on the stabilizer, when you put it out here, it seems like all the weight races, uh, rests onto the front of the, the uh, tripod. But when you put it back here, it's fine. You can get it, mount it. But the problem we see is that on the Nikon, it actually can't handle the weight. It starts breaking here and it has to be re-glued. So that is definitely not a good thing. So we actually uh, ordered off eBay. We ordered this uh, tripod mount from Made in China. So I'm not sure where in China is. I know where China is, but don't know where that is. So we're actually gonna try this out. We found that this actually fits pretty loose. So even if you tighten this all the way, it will go. For the tripod, it's still really loose around the camera. So as you can see, it's loose. So we're actually gonna get some rubber filling and put it in there and see if we can't tighten this down a little bit more. So as you can see, it, it mounts very easily and it's on there very firm and tight. And uh, so you could actually mount it on any type of stabilizer, which is good. The only problem I see is that when you uh, still try to mount this in there with the camera, is that I'm gonna, no. Man. You can see that it's still loose fitting in there with the camera. And uh, you know, we're still gonna have to figure something out with some rubber fittings around it or something like that just to help it stabilize a little bit more inside the mount. So we actually mounted it to the stabilizer and you can see, yeah, it, it looks good. But uh, we're still going to need to do some uh, extra fitting on it. Some rubber bands to hook it up so that it actually sits straight. So, I don't know. All in all, not extremely satisfied and happy with it. And uh, I think there's probably better stabilizers out there. So, we so. actually tried a few different things with this to see how we could fill that gap. What we came up with is we actually used a piece of uh, rubber mat that we cut down and then we use some electrical tape to fill the gap as you can see it's working great it filled the gap it's in there nice and sturdy no matter what i do it's staying for ten dollars you can't go wrong it was a two dollar fix no problem so it's in there it's sturdy as you can see i'm moving it around we actually got this idea from somebody else, which is, uh, you know, thank you, shout out to him for showing it to us. But uh, yeah, it's on the mount, it's moving. It's just what we needed. We only paid $10 for that. And the rest of the stuff, it literally is probably only like $2 to fix. Just with some uh, electrical tape and a little uh, rubber mat that we just cut down with a pair of scissors. Literally took us maybe, I don't know, three minutes to do. So there you have it. It's all fixed, saves some money, and it's usable. At the end, that's what you that's what you want. You don't want to spend a lot of money and have this custom mount and all this stuff. You know, find it cheap. <laughs> kind of fix it the way you want to fix it. And you'll have it. So, hey, till next time, keep it real.